hello 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 and welcome to chucks and chapstick if it is your first time here or if you're returning i ask that you do three things sit back relax and enjoy if you happen to like what you see and you haven't subscribed yet i ask that you go ahead and hit that subscribe button and then also tap 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 on the notification bell so that you never miss another chucks and chapstick upload and per usual go ahead and hit that thumbs up button and let me know that you like this video now i am doing something different today first of all I'm in a different location than what I normally film in. I decided to do my living room. And it's daytime. Like seriously, the light's coming through the door. Normally, I film at night. And then on top of that, as you notice, my makeup is vastly different from what it normally is. Now don't roast me, y'all. I'm still a work in progress. Don't roast me. But I received two new palettes that I've just kind of been playing with a little bit and I decided to play with this one. Um, they are by Melt Cosmetics. The first one is, it's Vida. Those are some gorgeous colors. And then the second one that I'm actually wearing today is called Muerte. They are two halves, because it's Vida means life, Muerte is death. There's Vida, and then there's Muerte, life and death, two halves. So that's what I was playing with today, and that's why I have the significantly different makeup look. I like it. It's not a daytime look by any means, but I like it. I So earlier in the year, I got rid of a lot of my uh, prior winter shoes. Some of them were just well past their prime and needed to be gotten rid of. Um, others of them I just wasn't really wearing. So because of that, I gave away a lot of shoes or threw away a lot of shoes because some of them weren't worth giving away. And winter came and I'm like, oh crap, I don't really have any shoes. And you cannot bear the Midwest winter without substantial shoes. So I decided to go in and kind of refresh my winter shoe wardrobe. So what you are about to see is the result of my refreshing of my winter wardrobe for 2019, 2020. I was about to say. So here's a pair of tan sorrel ankle boots genuine leather uh these actually are really cute i love the coloring of the tan leather however they are not the most comfortable shoes in the world they're not horrible but i've certainly had much more comfortable shoes problem is by the time i figured that out i had already worn them two or three times so they're mine um, so a few things that I like about these boots is that they're easy to get on. They have that stretch gourd on the side and then the loop in the back to help you slip it on. It's not a high heel and the um, sole is rubber and it is waterproof. So overall, not a bad shoe, but not the best. So I'm that one in a million person who does not find naturalizers to be that comfortable. But I bought these on a humbug and they actually are very, very comfortable. I straddle the edge between standard calf and wide calf. Uh, for some reason, I opted for wide calf for these boots. And as you can see, I can put my whole arm down the front of them and they are on the tightest buckle. So if you have a wide calf, these will definitely work for you. As you can see here, they do have a gorge stretching. They have buckles and then of course they have zippers. So in lots of ways, they will accommodate um, a wide calf if that's what you have. You see all that stretch there. So you may want to give these a try. I usually, again, don't like naturalizers, but these work out pretty well so here's a pair of Timberland boots I've never owned a pair of Timberlands before and I am mind blown at how comfortable they are uh, they're a little heavy but they are super comfortable I love this rust color I have gotten so many compliments on these boots I've worn them with dresses I've worn them with jeans I am just really rocking the mess out of these Timberlands and I am so happy about my purchase as you can see here it's kind of got a suede feel to it so I think it's called new buck it's not a smooth leather it's a suede leather um, but they can be laced up and this is just a really really comfortable boot I would recommend them 100% I've owned a few pair of born in my life but never a pair of born boots 
these boots are fantastic this is a standard width so as you can see here they fit just fine in standard width uh, these brown heel I think the heel is about a two and a half inch super comfortable I thought that these would go well this is more of a dress up boot I thought these would go well with a lot of outfits so here is the brown boot what I love about this boot is that it fully zips on both sides it also has the stretchiness in the gourd as well and then it has the buckles so there's a lot of room for flexibility in calf size and here they are okay so let me explain like for real so okay so okay hold on 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 okay hold on i mean um so they was cute and i liked them and i wanted them so i bought them sam edelman <laughs> snake print yellow boots i don't know where i'm gonna wear these boots but i had to have them because they're so damn cute i love the uh kind of squared off pointed toe is that an oxymoron? Is that possible squared off point of toe? But anyway, nice heel, very stretchy, very comfortable. Love these boots because they're so different. So I got to admit, I've always thought Oxfords were very masculine. My daughter told me she, they reminded her of tap shoes. Uh, but I saw my boss in a pair of Oxfords a few weeks ago, and I just knew I had to have them. These gray Oxfords from Dolce Vita, very comfortable, very cute. They are in this kind of suede gray. I just think they would be cute dressed up or with the jeans. Uh, so here they are. It's a pointed toe, and they lace up. Uh, they have a rubbery uh, sole, but then a kind of wooden block heel. But this was a great find, and I honestly wish I would have gotten them in a few more colors. Yes, your eyes do not deceive you. These are the same Timberland boots I had on earlier, except this time they're in blue. I liked them so much and went back and got another pair. These boots are gorgeous. Again, every time I wear them, I get compliments on them. I love this rich royal blue that they come in. I I just, I don't have enough good things to say about these boots. I love these boots. So full disclosure, I'm pretty sure I ordered these boots on accident because I hated them on the website. But when I got them, I actually fell in love with them. They are not real leather, but they do have that kind of mix of suede and smooth leather, which I think gives it a really edgy look. Super comfortable, great Steve Madden boot. Now, few cool features. First of all, it zips up on the inside of the leg, and then it actually does lace up. So this shoe is made to accommodate a thicker ankle, a thicker leg, a thicker calf. Like, it doesn't matter. You can get in this book and rock the mess out of it. So I say, go snag you some today, if not yesterday. This is the one tennis shoe in the entire haul. I love Reeboks of all varieties, but I just love the navy blue color. And these are so comfortable. They feel like walking on air. I, I am just mind blown. Um, but very casual tennis shoe. I love the navy blue and it also has the gold detail. And what I especially love about tennis shoes is when it has that kind of a beigey, bubble gummy sole. I just think that looks so retro. But these were a great pair of shoes uh, for the winter time since they are kind of a suede material. I'm cussing you out if you call yourself my friend and have never told me how comfortable Doc Martens are and you say you love me, I'm cussing you out. That's what I'm doing right now is cussing you out. This is my first pair of Doc Martin boots. I am in love. They are so comfortable. I am just like, I can't even believe how comfortable they are. Doc Martens have never went out of style, but they are kind of making, they're hitting the scene really hard. Um, they are see, see me dancing there. These are so comfortable. I can do it all, baby, in these Doc Martens. But I just, I love these. They are, they run a bit big, so I did size down. Uh, but I bought the smooth leather. I got the standard uh, eight eye hole lace up and it's that sole that sole is what does it i could walk from here to 10 buck two in these in these doc martens and they're cute i mean and they'll last forever what more can i say so what did you think about this winter shoe uh refresh there was something there for just about every style you could think of there was boots there were 
high boots, there were low boots, there was tennis shoes, there were Oxfords. So just about any type of style that you can think of, there was a shoe to match it. Uh, the one thing that connects all of those shoes is that they're comfortable. Even the sorrels, which I wasn't as particular about, they weren't as comfortable as the rest of them, they were still comfortable. I actually spent my entire Chicago trip in those Timberlands. That's what I wore every day for the entire time that I was there. One day I put in over 16,000 steps and I was still moving strong in those Timberlands. So all of them are comfort shoes. Uh, maybe you got some ideas about something. Hopefully you did. Again, I'm gonna leave everything in the description box below. Um, Another thing is that I don't pay full price for anything. So even though you may see links to full price items, at the time I bought the item, maybe I had a coupon, a reward, a, you know, they were having some kind of sale, something, but I didn't pay full price, gosh, for e any of those shoes. So anyway, just keep that in mind since it's almost right after the holiday. So maybe so, some of them will go on sale. Um, I'm burning up right now. I am sweating, like seriously. Last week it was six inches of snow, 20 degrees here in the Midwest. Today it is 63 and where I'm from, 63 means long lines at Baskin Robbins and flip flops. I mean, seriously, it's like such a nice day and Christmas is tomorrow, um, but I'm hot. So I'm gonna get out of this bodycon dress and this jean jacket and go cool down. Uh, but last but not least, everyone, I hope you have a happy holiday, whatever that means to you. Maybe it means just a day off of work where you can chill out and get a few things done around the house. Maybe it means dinner with friends and family. Maybe it means going to the movies and going to eat Chinese food. Whatever it means to you, I hope you have a happy holiday from me and mine to you and yours. See you next time. Bye.